Hi, Scorpio. It is I, Scorpio Spy. I'm just kidding. But it is Scorpio Spy. Thank you guys for joining. This is a reading in partnerships for the sign of Scorpio. We're gonna see who is most prominent in your energy during this time period. Also pick up on the situation at hand, what we're working with here. We're gonna see how you guys perceive one another, what you guys want from the situation, your next moves, as well as I will be pulling for you a two week outcome here and then I'll get to some kind of oracle or something like that, you know, okay? Scorpio, please and thanks. What is the situation for Scorpio? What's the situation at hand? Who's the person for Scorpio in this time period? Who is in the energies? Thank you for the likes, guys. Really helps all your guys' interactions. Keeps the channel going and the community flourishing. Scorpio situation and person. Scorpio, you're showing up in the King of Cups on the backside. You got a situation. I heard person though, interesting. Um, with a Knight of Swords. Hmm. And you got a person over here with the Queen of Pentacles on the backside. All right, so first and foremost, there's some sort of stall that we're picking up on. You have someone who is being more reserved here, um, whoever we're picking up on. This person feels like they need to focus on themselves or they've kind of drawn back in a sense. And I feel this caused some type of reaction for the other person to also withdraw here. So here's the deal. I see you here actually kind of going back to your little energy over here. Focus on um, Scorpio things, all right? Some of you guys, there could be some drinking going on. That is just a side note, so. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Some sort of detachment. Tell me about this, um, this Knight of Swords for the situation. Why is that there? Like you retreated somehow. I feel like it was a response though. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, I told you. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Yep, here it is, I told you. All right, uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign energy this time around, Scorpio. Some of you guys, we got Capricorn, Taurus, possibly Virgo energy. Um, the situation looks like some Gemini energy, but it's like you going back to your little own energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is you feeling an urge to work on yourself here or to pull back or to be happy with yourself and your surroundings. The thing is, I feel like you're just peachy just peachy, like everything's fine here for you. Um, again, I feel like though, this is a response because someone wasn't contributing or like you want, you wanted someone to contribute in a sense or you needed someone to contribute. There's definitely an energy of imbalance, giving too much, like over giving, overdoing and all that. You're like, you know what? Let me not, let me not deal with this. That's what we're seeing here. Let me see what you're looking like. Scorpio, what do you, King of Cups, backside. Okay, I wonder if there's anything underneath this because you look fine. Like, I don't know. King Cup Scorpio. Nine of Cups. Ooh, fantasies. Eight of Cups backside. Fantasies. <laughs> Page of Cups. Fantasies. All right. Uh, what's this? The star card. There's that Taurus energy here with the world card and that Virgo energy. All right. You're like, why would I, why would I work on that when it's a lost cause or the ship has sailed? Very interesting. So here's the deal. Um, with the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups here, there's definitely a detachment that you're referring to. However, you're wondering if something's coming back around or you have hopes that there's some sort of connection coming back around with the Page of Cups, okay? It looks like a small Page of Cups offer. Like, I feel like you, either you want this person to come in and say, hello, what's up? Or like, you are considering this yourself. But I feel like it's like you're drawing someone in um, so that you can say, hey, like a small thing back, like, hey when you're feeling so much more than that is what it looks like to me. With the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like fantasizing about, you know, what you left behind or your connection or how you guys used to relate here or something is just unfinished and there's some type of offer that needs to come through so you can mend something here, all right? Mend your relationship or 
connect with someone. This is what this is. Lots of water energy. And your energy. Not bad. Okay, so this person with a king. Queen of Pentacles backside. Tell me about this person. Okay, five of wands. Interesting. Who's feisty? I saw the back of the devil card. This person feisty. Tell me about this. I saw the back of the devil card again. Tell me this person, please. Ace of Swords. Empress. Back of the Queen of Cups. Aw, Queen and King of Cups. This person, whoever this is, they felt like they had to withdraw to take care of themselves here, especially emotionally. Maybe this person's emotionally out of balance or somehow they're feeling off kilter relating to this situation right now. And they're trying to like heal that or mend that by giving themselves some spare time or free time or separate time, whatever this is. This is someone who feels like they have to do this. Okay. They have to focus on that during this little split or whatever's going on here. Interestingly enough, this person showing up in the feminine energy and you yourself is showing up in masculine energy here, Scorpio. Okay, didn't have to matter, just I am. I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so let's see here. How does Scorpio see this um, Empress energy, Queen of Pentacles person, um, taking care of themselves, feeling like they need to get their energy back into balance? What is this? They're like, it doesn't matter. I'll do my own thing. And then you're like, well, me too then. That's what this looks like. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Again, the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here. So you felt like, um, hold on a minute. The Strength card. Yeah. You're dealing with somebody who, one of you guys or both of you guys has a very strong personality and um, is kind of unyielding in a way. Okay, there's a lot of holding back from what you're seeing with this person. Maybe you see them like needing to do a lot of things or like they're just in their own solo independent energy trying to do things for themselves because they have to or because they've hit some sort of roadblock here and they need to figure some things out or whatever this is. But you are seeing them as like a strong personality or someone who is um, moving into that energy here by being very decisive, okay? Hold on now, what else is here? Okay, the Page of Cups is flying out again. The Sun card. So we're seeing Leo energy here too. Their pride, the pride of the person. Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you may also feel like this person is trying to figure something out here. Um, not sure exactly what that is. They, because it's like they're, they're, they've hit some side of, some side of, wow, they hit some sight of. They're seeing a roadblock or they're seeing something here that you're aware of. Like you're seeing this person knowing that they need to handle their business or get themselves out of a situation because they're kind of blocked. Like maybe they've blocked themselves and they're trying to get themselves out of it. Something like that here. Because what they're doing is trying to free themselves from any type of limitation. Um, and you, you're, you know this here. You know this about this person. Possibly involving their pentacles. Okay. Work, money, business. Okay. So this person sees... Scorpio, how? How does this person see Scorpio? How does this person, what is going on? I just saw the Knight of Swords again, which is interesting because I did say that was you. Um, why are you guys mirroring here? I feel like you are. Okay, this person sees Scorpio, how? Okay, some Virgo energy with Hermit, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords, literally on the temperance. They feel like you're kind of at a distance here. Like you're looking to understand where you're planting your seeds, your time, your energy, your finances, where you're trying to invest here. And they feel like you're on the path to figuring this out. Okay. Um, this is someone who sees you as kind of like detaching from them, but it's because you're achieving some sense of balance or that they are here. Okay. There's that queen of cups. Hold on. Yep, queen and king of cups here. Look at that. 
with the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are a pair, guys. I don't know what to tell you. You guys are some type of pair sitting in a tree, K-S-S-I-N-G, okay? Or a partridge in a pear tree, okay? Seriously. So even though, like, you're detached here, they see you as someone being, like, their person with the Ten of Pentacles, like a long-term type of person type of situation. But you guys are both kind of minding your own business right now. Super interesting. Scorpio readings have been interesting lately. Okay, what do you want with this person, Scorpio? What does Scorpio want with this person? Page of Swords. Six of Cups, yeah. Well, okay, see, but that's how you came out. Um, you're still looking to see what's going to happen in the future. Like whether or not the future is actually gonna bring you guys together again. I don't see you making a lot of efforts. Um, I don't necessarily see this person making efforts. Of course, we're gonna pull your next moves here. But from what it's looking like, there's a lot of like studying this person, watching their moves, waiting to see if they're gonna come through. Not that you're putting your entire life on hold, but you definitely are thinking about it, especially if you are this person. This is that state of fantasy of, wow, wouldn't it be nice if we were together, if we could go back or we could connect again or whatever this is, okay? Thing is, this could be taken forever or it has taken forever. So the, um, the distance or the amount of things that need to be worked out here seems to be so much crap that would have to be unloaded for something to work. Or maybe you just want to keep them as a friend or just closer to you. Because it's like you're seeing possibilities. It's like you're optimistic. But you also know that there's so much darn baggage behind Interesting, right? This person's next moves. No, my bad. This person wants with Scorpio. I'm hearing lettuce. The heck is lettuce about? Lettuce? Salad? Or let us? Okay, this person wants let us. Person wants with Scorpio. Crisp. Two of Swords. There it is. There's that darn Two of Swords here. Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. Someone doesn't really know what they want. We keep seeing this Nine of Wands energy too. So it's definitely like, it's not a hard no, but it's also not a hard yes, okay? Whoever this person is, they do want some type of new beginning, something passionate, something that is going to benefit them emotionally, maybe physically for some of you, but they're not sure beyond. That's kind of what this looks. Yeah, there's the Ace, oh look at that, see? The Six of Cups again, but there's an Ace of Pentacles here. So it's like they think about this. Look, Scorpio energy. This is Scorpio, this is Scorpio Sun as well, both of these. It's like, dang, you know, it could be perfect. <laughs> yep, world card. And there they are again, worried about this too. Ace of Cups with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, literally. So you guys are like each other's person, but you're at a distance or like not sure that you could actually be together. This is really interesting. Let me see what else is underneath this person's desires here. Oh, the tower. This could be someone who's trying to get out of some type of conflicted energy. Like for some of you, there could be a relationship that is a source of friction here. With the High Priestess and the Hierophant, there's some sort of established, whether it's religion or entire different relationship that's causing friction here. It could be spiritual beliefs or tradition, something that someone's been involved in for a long time here. Ooh, this is messy. So this is interesting here, guys, because whoever this is, they're wanting to be with you. Um, but they, but maybe they're involved in something where they can't. So that's the blockage. It's like, I want to follow my passions. I'm 
but something else is going on. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Could be a water sign and an earth sign involved for some of you. If there's more than one person, there's, there's a water sign and an earth sign here. What's this? Oh, this person has both in their chart. Yeah, see? So, so here's another thing. Maybe you and this person had a very bad breakup before, okay? It's either you guys had a bad breakup, which is, I mean, you probably did regardless. Um, and they're wanting to reconnect with you, but they have to settle something else. That's what this is. They're trying to settle something so they can come forward to be with you. Interesting. Um, next moves, your next moves, Scorpio. Now I know why you're kind of looking at them like, so did you do it or are you coming forward? Are we reconnecting? Now I know why you're, you're doing that because they, they're handling their business. Okay, Scorpio's next moves. Yeah, someone has baggage and you guys probably have baggage together as well. But there's another set of baggage here that someone needs to unpack. Okay, okay. Someone needs to take out. Oh, I don't want to say that. Don't. Scorpio's, um, look at that. The Ace of Wands is popping out. Scorpio's next moves. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Don't make me say it. Yeah, there it is. Eight of Swords. <laughs> don't make me say it. Four of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Mm-hmm. Eh. So the Ace of Wands is popping up, okay? But you're also popping up with the Four of Cups, okay? This person's next moves, I'll tell you in a minute. Someone may not be free, someone is inhibited. I feel um, you could also not be free because of this situation here, Scorpio. Someone's making a decision, this person's making a decision. They feel like something that they're planning or doing has to be very carefully, uh, well, I guess strategic here, judgment and justice with the 10 of pentacles. I don't know if this is marriage or what, guys. Taurus, Leo energy. There's something very stagnant in this energy here. Huh. Something very established. Tell me about this Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles strength. It's like this person wants to approach in a, in a, yeah, look, there's the Empress, the Seven of Cups, and the Emperor. Holy moly. They're like, I don't know what to do. Eight of Pentacles, world card. There's some kind of um, friction going down here. You, ooh, you're winning. Look, oh no. You're kind of asserting yourself and winning something here, Scorpio. There could be some, some source of friction that is coming up here between you and this person. Tell me what else is here. Because it looks like there's so many, there's maybe there's too many people. The Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Five of Swords again, look. It's interesting because you're winning here, Scorpio. Like you asserted yourself, you made yourself clear. Um, you're getting what you want. I will tell you that. It's going to turn in your favor. However, it looks like there is a stagnant energy popping up here. Like someone's trying to be smart about their situation, okay? About approaching this with you or whatever this is. Um, there's someone else who is making this difficult. Very difficult. Um, kind of holding on saying this is this is my house or these are my rules or this is mine and I'm protecting it. This is someone over here doing that, okay? There's a big showdown happening in that energy. So you, Scorpio, um, interesting. I don't think this is completely dealing with you, but it feels like it's happening in this person's world. See what I'm saying? Now, let's take the other person out of the equation for those of you that know that's not the case. 
You're asserting yourself when you're winning here, Scorpio. I feel like you're winning regardless. You may not know that yet, but you are. Here. Okay, Queen of Swords. This is you saying something. You're speaking your piece. You're saying what you need to say. You're being honest. You're being truthful. Uh, the thing is, you're not seeing how this is going to work here. You may be saying that. You're like, I don't see. I don't see that. Like, it's not working. I don't. You know, I don't have hopes for this. This is ridiculous. Um, there's no amount of freedom here. I'm chained to my circumstance here. This is annoying. I don't like feeling trapped. All this kind of stuff is what I'm seeing here in your next moves. So yeah, I mean, I don't see you being very happy right there. It's just kind of like, oh, this is dumb. That's what I see. There's the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Lover's Card energy with the Two of Wands. There's a decision um, in love coming up here, okay, Scorpio? And it looks like you're aware of that. Um, now, here's the deal. I also see that you are guarding your happiness. You're, you're very concerned about this, and I feel like you... You should be concerned about this regardless, okay? Regardless of whatever is going on, that's kind of a good energy to be worried about how you feel, how you are being affected. And not putting yourself on hold. Not saying you are, but just saying. Let me see here. In that, the next two weeks with this situation... What's the next two weeks with this situation with Scorpio? Oh, somebody like married here. That's what it looks like. Moving on. Intuition, temptation. Yeah. You know there's a problem that needs to be solved here. So I feel like you're detaching for the time being. Doesn't mean it's permanent. Although some of you rest and rejuvenate. You could be wanting to rest from this. I see you detaching. You're realizing, look, that something is stifled. Something is stagnant. Something is stuck. There's a problem that has nothing to do with me or I can't solve right now because it's not for me to solve. The three of cups is here. Recognition and reward and the trapped in fear. Very interesting. In the future, it looks like you're not seeing too much progress during this time period but I do feel this is all changing right here because something something's happening this is two weeks guys so this is you detaching could be relationships coming in for you or partnerships coming in for you friendships um parties whatever this is but it looks like you're kind of still thinking about this guys yeah Live your life, Scorpio. Live your beautiful life. Transformation. Scorpio, death card energy. Stand your ground. Crown chakra. So you know you need to protect your energy here and your security with the base chakra energy for the next two weeks. This is what's happening, okay? Focus on that here. Let me see what this person wants to say to you with the hidden truth. Guys, check the description for the cards. Usually put them there. I am so attracted to you. Well, duh. We know person's next moves finding out the truth crushed me you're gonna have to make a decision in love here scorpio i feel you have um somebody coming forward finding out the truth crushed me what what that you're detaching okay this person wants to say to scorpio I am becoming a better person i couldn't let you get close to me yeah we could see that so listen um I'm becoming a better person is I do feel like someone's trying to work something out in their life here. And the thing is, even if they are, that doesn't have anything to do with you. So, like I said, live your beautiful life here, Scorpio. If it comes together, it comes together. And if it doesn't, still be happy. But I feel something is switching up here. I am just saying, I don't know what it is, but it feels very massive. It feels massive. Okay. Scorpio. Car for Scorpio. Whoa. So someone's trying to improve it. I told you. This car for Scorpio. Car for Scorpio. Please. What's going on here? Here we go. Very nice. The bottom of the deck. The mystic of peace. Okay, Scorpio. Use that peace of yours, okay? Focus on peace. It says, I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Focus on peace. What does peace mean to you? How can you feel peaceful? Do you feel peaceful right now? What do you need to do to feel peaceful? Okay, because that's going to help you think clearly. 
You also have Lady of the Lotus born as your main card. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. Interesting. Enlightenment popping up, popping up here. Um, things are going to be made very clear. Okay. I feel like, yeah, with that crown chakra, stand by what you know here, Scorpio. Okay. Feel free to check your other placements or the videos on the screen, Scorpio. Uh, look out for future videos. Also, check your friends, placements, family members, neighbors, co-workers. Be even zombies on the street. Check their placements too. So we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.